Hi everybody, this is Gary Dean with Sentiment Timing, and this is our technical video report for Wednesday, March 22nd, 2023. Quick shout out to uh, Margaret. Happy birthday to you. Um, I'll see you on Friday. Anyway, um, so we, we had the Fed decision come out. It's always a, uh, a a crazy time period. And I, you know, I knew where the resistance was. I knew, the, you know, the, the, that it, we were... I wanted to kind of lower my exposure to the long side. So that's why I closed the position uh, one third, well, half of the position uh, near the 4,000 level yesterday. And I, I was running with uh, one third of a long position uh, that that was pretty much near the 3950 in that range there on the S&P. But in any case, um, you know, I, I, I kind of I was expecting something like this. I'm not not as much of a down move that we had, but taking a look at the morning notes, um, I said there was no sell signals on the 15 minute chart to ES. And that is suggesting that we're going to have uh, th that the 4049, 4023, the high to low, is uh, is a consolidation bull flag that uh, the, the bull should win. But then I said, well, you know, makes it above the 4049 resistance, it will be coming with sell signals on the 15 and the 16. Uh, in the 60s, and I would lean towards some type of nail biter to the downside. So again, this was this was at uh, you know 909 in the morning. Uh, then I went into uh, you know taking a look at what the S and P was going to be doing, and um, I see if what I was saying that is that if we if the S and P gets above the 4016, we should make it in between these two pivots or one of these pivots 4920. 949 uh 4055 and the bears need to get price below 3999 for a quick move down to the 3977 and then below that is where downside uh selling should pick up uh with the target 3966 3925 so let's take a look at what happened here um here's the s p uh on the 15 minute chart as i said we didn't really have any any uh any bearish divergences in place here but once we took out these highs, now you can see we had the bearish divergences. Um, take a look at where we went to. We made it up to the uh, to the forty thirty seven level. Uh, so this was our resistance zone that that was pointed out. And again, a lot of people were you know once the Fed came out and did a quarter point, uh, and the algorithms did this shock up to the you know this buy program, and then from there, once everybody was thinking that this is the start of the next. Uh, Big move. Uh, they pulled the rug out, and we saw the S and P cl uh, close at the thirty nine thirty four. So, if we take a look back at the at the um, at what I put was once we get through the the thirty nine seventy seven, uh, selling pressure pressure should pick up thirty nine sixty six down to thirty nine twenty five. So, once we took out that 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 support level here, you can see we made it down uh, in, uh, to the thirty nine thirty six. So, it was right in the support area that I was looking at. So we're getting a little bit over overbought, but you can see we don't have any buy signals right now. Uh, if we look at the six, up, oh, sorry, that's a VIX. Hang on one second. Um, here we go. Here we go. Um, so if we take a look at the uh, at the hourly chart again, you can see we had sell signals. So once we got up to this resistance yesterday, I, I didn't want to hold on to two thirds of a position. I got caught in this contagion here, but we also took a 100 point profit on, on, on half of the position and then entered the other half right around here only to, to get it taken out. So we were averaged in probably around here. So once we did it, we you know, I wanted to start layering out and uh, running with a third of a position. What that did was, hey, if we ended up shooting to the upside, let's say the market liked a quarter point and we went, then I'm running with a third of a position. If it comes down, I've now, you know, lowered my exposure where if we come down to support areas, I'm going to be looking uh, to, to buy the dip. And we already know when the, the next topping period is coming in. And, it, you know, I, I think that the, the actual lows um, on, on the S&P where, you know, the, at the, the 38, uh, 3769, once we come into our next topping period that Woody has put out, I believe these are taken out and I wouldn't be surprised if we don't come all the way down and test these lows. So right now we're looking to buy dips uh, until major support is broken. Um, and and we're, we're looking for a rally that, that I, I'm thinking 
could take the S&P somewhere between the 4,200 and the, the 4,220. And from there, everybody's going to think the banking crisis is over. Jump long because the market is always right, but it's always wrong. It's just lot leading you into believing we're going in one direction. And then when everybody is trapped, that's when they're going to pull the rug out. And like I said, I believe we're going to get some kind of test of these lows. So we have some pretty good swing trades that are coming right now. Um, and and we this is one of the things that that I, I kind of believe or has me uh, on the side of that, you know, the, these lows should be in place. Uh, we should find support and head higher is on the daily chart. We have some bullish divergences. So you have it on the daily chart, but on the on the hourly, we, we don't. We have some bearish divergences. So we just want to watch support. We want to see some buy signals set in. And then uh, and then from there, we, we just build our long position. So right now, the, the we're at some support right here at the 4038. If the bears come in tomorrow and start selling, uh, the next support is 3900 down to the 3894. Uh, the bulls are really going to have to get it above the 3991. That will get some kind of short covering back up to today's highs and possibly up to the 4080. So um, like I said, we have some big moves coming. I'm glad I, you know, I, I took half of the position off. Now we have uh, more powder to, if it comes down, to be able to to buy these dips as everybody's panicking. And once that's set, then the, the master planners will have the uh, the big short squeeze ready to go. So with that, have a great night and I'll talk to you guys in the morning.